And welcome back. We are about to venture off into our third and final segment uh, for the morning. Then again, another uh, topic dear to us. Sporting activities in Belize, cycling in Belize, and elections for Cycling Federation of Belize. There are always their woes. There is always a woe in every aspect. But we've got folks in to tell us more about it. As a matter of fact, we've got Alexi uh, Ordones in. He's, of course, a cyclist. And uh, everybody in Wakayaka, too. She's a cyclist as well. You know, everything, actually. <laughs> Sport and ambassador. So, guys, welcome. It's so nice to have you in. Good morning. Nice. And let's jump directly into it. Mm -hmm. What's going on with cycling in this country? Well, um, from the start, you know, um, since last year, it's been an uphill battle to even get an election date. Mm -hmm. And now we're facing that we are not eligible because we are um, registered members of 2018. Mm -hmm. The election date has been pushed back from November of 2017 to now April the 28th. And I must mention that there were no resolution um, to have an election date by the members for this 2018. Mm -hmm. Now they're saying that only members who were um, registered from 2017 are the members eligible to vote for 2018, a 2018 election. Mm. All right. It's voting and running. It's right? voting yeah. and running. Yes. Let's step back a bit. You know, mm. I, I try, as a, as a non-athlete, mm. I try very hard to understand how the federation, why there's so much bureaucracy in the federation elections. But I have to say, you know, Kaya, you, you, you sounded the alarm uh, when there was a prior group that was uh, running for um, the uh, management of the cycling federation, and one of the things that we were aware of, we were aware of, was that uh, there hadn't been an election to the time that it should have been. There was a issue as to the vetting of uh, the um, updates for the federation from the National Sports Council. Uh, there were concerns about who is eligible to run for office. We saw some of these things starting to, to take effect. We heard from the Sports Council, there was a date set for the election. It was purposefully moved until after the cross country, because obviously that would have been poor timing. Mm -hmm. Talk to us, uh, since, since you first sounded the, the alarm on these issues, uh, what type of progress has been made, if any? Well, from then until now, what this current federation has been doing is creating ir irrelevant barriers, mm -hmm. blocking people who genuinely want to do better for the sport and better for cyclists in general, just to, <coughs> to push them away, push them out, um, like I said, creating irrelevant barriers to not having them being eligible yeah. to even run for elections. Mm -hmm. Now from then until now, basically, there has been no progress. Mm -hmm. They have not budged. They have continued with the same way they have always carried on for the past four years um, in terms of communicating. Mm -hmm. There mm -hmm. is no communication from federation to members. I mean, we have had not one annual general meeting in four years. Um, the only meetings that we have are technical meetings, which are before classics. So that would be probably eight of them for the year. Mm -hmm. And at these technical meetings, all you are allowed to discuss is the upcoming race. So the meetings are on Thursday night and the race is on Sunday. So you would talk about the race route, the prizes, you know, different things about that race. Mm -hmm. And if you bring up anything else, they would tell you outright that this is not the spot to discuss that. So we have no place to discuss anything cycling related with these people. Now, I've, I've, I've interviewed uh, the vice president, the current vice president, uh, Mr. Butler, and he speaks of the fact that the cyclists of the federation are happy. They're satisfied. And in fact, it's only a small group of disgruntled cyclists who are uh, making all the noise, mm -hmm. in other words. What do you say to that? Well, you see, the, the thing is, and it's not only with cyclists, but our society in general, mm -hmm. we it's are a a people thing. who are afraid to speak up because we're afraid of victimization. Mm -hmm. So for having Mr. Butler saying something like that, if he feels like the cyclists are happy, then open the election and let it show in the voting that we are happy. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why, why try to stop anybody contesting the election? If you're doing such a great job, let, then... Let, uh -huh. Let me understand Go this ahead. clearly. The election is set for this weekend. This Saturday, yeah. This, this Saturday. Mm -hmm. There is currently an attempt to be able to not have your team, Alexei, mm. run for the election. Correct. 
Is there anybody else contesting the current federation management? No. I would love to ask the same question. So in other words, <laughs> you're moving it, if, you, if you were not allowed to, to contest the election, it will be an endorsement. It will definitely Basically. be an endorsement, but mm -hmm. they haven't even said from who? their part who is running for them if it's the same people who will be contesting mm -hmm. the election. We have no idea. So basically, as cyclists, we are supposed to go to this election on, mm -hmm. on Saturday. And, and you don't know who's running? We don't know who is running. We can't not even do our homework. Not the current ruling team or who's opposing We them. don't know. No, they well, have not communicated We have, we have opened up a, a Facebook page, which is um, Team Upward Bound, which is, you know, a slight campaigning that we did, but we had mm -hmm. made it known that this is our team, mm -hmm. right? But on their end, we haven't heard anything from them as yet. So who is, uh, you know, let, let, let's, who's eligible to vote? Who's, who, who's got the say? I would think that those who are eligible to vote have got the say, and those who are elig uh, eligible to vote are actually the cyclists Remember, because it's that correct. open. But from what I'm hearing here, being that we don't have anybody else saying anything or trying to uh, tell the current uh, federation, you know what, we need to open this thing, it seems that Mr. Butler at this particular point is being right in saying that everybody is comfortable. There is no other complaint. So who is eligible to vote, and why are they not saying anything to try and open this thing up? I, I, I wonder if, uh, if cyclists even know that there will be an election on Saturday. They are supposed hmm. to put, put this thing in the newspaper, you know, mm -hmm. make, it, make ask, it public. What's, what's the mechanism or procedure, mm -hmm. please? You're supposed to put it in the newspaper. You're supposed to advertise it through your media um, outlets mm -hmm. like Facebook and mm -hmm. so forth, and um, also through emails by contacting you know, everybody. Now, um, like we said, this has been, you know, thus promptly we have been emailed saying that elections will be such date without any meeting or, or any um, resolution signed by members stating that, yes, we all agree that we should have an election on such and such date, you know? So at this time, the current federation or the current management of the federation, which is the team that's going once again into the election to, to keep on running the federation, is saying that your team, Team Upward Bound, is not eligible. Correct. On what grounds? On the grounds that we um, registered in 2018. Now it's not the entire slate, it's only um, me, um, John Burns, and Sean Duncan who are not eligible. Miss Karen Vernon has been registered since um, 2017 mm -hmm. and in 2018. Mm -hmm. So she's the only eligible member to run. Mm -hmm. um, However, that's been the biggest, well, that is the, the main thing here right now. Hmm. Uh. Now, the three names you, you, you called out, I think any mm. Belizean knows, have been involved in cycling, cycling for yes. so long. Mm. Why is this uh, being a criterion now? What, what are you being told as to why in 2018 you're relying on 2017 membership? I'm not sure. They well, only there, there was a meeting, there was a meeting in, in November to pass a resolution which would dissolve the zones. Um, back in 2013, they moved from association to federation, and instead of having cyclists vote, they moved it to zones and had delegates vote, something similar mm -hmm. to that that was happening at FFB. FFB yes. mm -hmm. Now, they, in November, they had a meeting to dissolve that, saying that for the past couple of years, these zones have been inactive. Mm -hmm. And um, the second thing to vote on was that they, um, they want to have 2017 membership be eligible to vote. Now bear in mind, this meeting was in November of 2017, the same month that election should have been in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if I were there, I would have voted, yes, 27 mem 2017 membership will be eligible to vote. Mm -hmm. But now these people come and have election five months later in 2018 and still want only 2017 members to be eligible to vote. So now what happens to the people who register in 2018 who have now interest who are now interested in cycling mm -hmm. you have people from 2017 who haven't even re-registered for well, 2018 I was gonna ask that, yeah. but mm -hmm. they are eligible to, to vote. vote and they have no interest in cycling because they have not mm -hmm. re-registered in for 2018 exactly you know it, like, it, like you, i said it, it's just irrelevant barriers to, to just block out people and 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 be endorsed to, to be endorsed and, and put back in the positions that they are what are you hearing on the ground as well i should say on the road as cyclists mm -hmm. um are, do people have valid concerns, or are they just, you know, kind of dismissive of who is in charge? They just want to race. Well, like what Kaya said, they feel victimized. Um, I spoke to two managers, and uh, um, well, the, the only two managers that disagree with what's um, going on, and they told me that 
they are not going to, well, first let me mention that we sent a resu um, uh, requisition. requisition to uh, the, the acting secretary, which yeah. is Mr. Butler, and um, that requisition was stating that, you know, we have, we are requesting a extraordinary general meeting mm -hmm. to amend what is happening at the current moment to allow us to be a voice and to run as well. Um, two members were, two managers in specific said they do not want to sign the requisition because they are afraid of being outcast by the Federation once they ultimately put themselves back in position. They don't want the teams to suffer or anything like that. No, the requisition doesn't state anything to say that you're on my side or on their side, anything like that. It's just saying, give us a fair trial, give us a fair chance to be able to run in this, um, this election. What are your plans? At the, I mean, the, the vote is to take place on Saturday, <sighs> and uh, you are still here with the hope of being able to be on uh, the ballot the or yeah. to be eligible to be voted in. Mm -hmm. Well, we're pleading with the managers to open up your mouth, you know, um, have, have a voice or, or forever hold your peace, right? Um, if you guys just complain within our little circle, then what sense does it make? You know, um, you guys should stand up um, and let them know that you will not allow you guys to just dictate what's happening right now. Yeah. Yeah. How many people are registered with the Cycling Federation? Well, we have a list of approximately about 300 people. Again. That's just from the 2017 registered mm -hmm. members. We haven't gotten anything that says who was registered in 2018. So we have no idea who's registered in 2018. So are you guys haven't been shown those numbers? Or is it a delivery it's a, it's situation? It's a federation of secrecy. Yeah. You ask and you might be told. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, there's no information for you ask and you might be told whether you're a part of that crew you or? ask and you might be told anything in relation to the federation it's only a selected few that knows what's going on right and there it's unfair to hold members of about like i said 300 hostage to their decisions you know this is i don't know like a, a clear like kaya mentioned barriers to just stop people trying to make betterment for the sport on a whole Right. I think I think <laughs> things things that need to be, be, be mentioned in relation to this federation mm -hmm. in the past four years, um, what were their goals at the beginning when they got elected? Mm -hmm. If they had any, have any of those been accomplished in the last four years? Can you speak to us and mem as members and you know relay this kind of information to us um, when it comes to? Uh, or national team selection. I mean, it's a bogus selection. It's, it's by motions. I will pick you because, okay, I see you training or you did good in, in a race. Mm -hmm. We have no selection process. No we have a national team coach who does not pay any attention to the national team when it is picked in terms of training them in preparation to go outside or even having a proper game plan when we are racing internationally. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, in, in, in terms of having enough races um, apart from the Serious Cycling Club and Mr. Santino Castillo, there, if it wasn't for those, those two, I mean, there would have been no other races apart from the eight classics that they have throughout the year. I mean, what is a sport in a country as big as cycling riding only eight times for the year? Yeah. The relationship that they have with the media houses, it's very poor. I mean, there's a lot of things that, that can be seen and... If we would have meetings and be able to relay this information back to them, it's things that they could work on and they could fix simply. But there's no communication whatsoever. And that's the thing about complaints. You know, if you hear complaints from people, that's what build you in the end. You know, um, I always tell my dad, you know, I, I love when a customer come and said this was not done right because I am able to fix that and learn from that mistake. Now, how can that happen if we're not having any kind of communication any at all? Mm -hmm. Four years without any kind of meeting to state our concerns or what we believe that we should do and uh, to, to make betterment for this sport. Zero communication. Are you taking any legal action to be able to uh, contest. contest what is happening? Hmm. Or are you simply making a public appeal to people to, to intervene and at the very moment yes yeah. it's a public appeal right now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the the 300 
and uh, odd uh, cyclists that we've got registered, that you guys have got registered right now, have you made that pitch to them? Because honestly, again, what I'm hearing here is two persons so far, two persons mm -hmm. uh, uh, expressing about their gripe of not being able to run in this election. Have you made this pitch to your cyclists? And what can be done, guys? Because it's important. You want to be a part of this thing. Mm. What can be done so you guys are eligible for Saturday, which is only three days away? Before, before Alexei answers that, the cyclists are under the impression that this team will be one of their options on Saturday. Oh, so they mm. feel that you guys will be running. That's they right. are of the impression. So they're learning today now that you guys are not eligible to run. Well, you see, it, because it's a whole hush-hush thing, I mean... It's individually reaching out to members and expressing to them, look, this is what is happening. I mean, I posted a Facebook thing the other day and a cyclist commented on it and said, what is this about? Yeah. How can you be a cyclist and not be following what is, you know, mm -hmm. what is about to take place? Or do they even know what we are governed by? Mm -hmm. We have about three constitutions in circulation and have no idea which one is the correct constitution to be governed by. So... You don't know who's running on Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, you have how how was it communicated to you that you're ineligible? Um, um, by phone and by okay. personal. Um, okay. What did I say? Conversation. Conversation. Yeah. And that's my personal. So conversation. technically, right now, there's only one member of your team that is eligible. eligible. Correct. For the election. Who cannot uh -huh. run because you need to have a slate. The voting is by slate and by not, slate. By not by a person. Yeah, not by a person. So then, mm -hmm. even though she is eligible to be a part of a slate, she's not eligible to be a part of the election. Wow. All right. And it will just be a matter of people showing up on Saturday and realizing that your team isn't there. Maybe there's another team that's campaigning that you don't know about. <laughs> according to according to one of their constitutions, it says to meet quorum at a meeting, you have to have four persons. Yeah. Out of 300 plus, I mean, four persons to meet quorum. They and can do that on their day. own. Yeah. Yeah. They, can, they can have a meeting on their own, endorse themselves. And, and right I, mean, I, have been, I have been advocating for cycling and cyclists for, from even before this federation. Yeah. Being victimized is the least of my worries. It has happened. It will continue to happen. I just have to continue to rise above. So speaking out for me is nothing out yeah. of the ordinary. Well, it's what you do. For the next four years... I, might, I may or I may not have problems with this federation if they get back in, but I will continue to do what I do. Will you guys be there uh, on Saturday even if you're not eligible to run? I don't plan to go. I don't know if, if Alexis plans to go, but why go to a meeting where I have no say? What, what, what am I going to be doing at this election? I don't, one, I don't know who is running. The, the, the team or the slate that I openly support is not eligible to run. I mean, what am I going to do there on Saturday? So the only kind of interception you can have in this process is having the managers agree to your special meeting, your special AGM. Well, I would tell yes. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. So you, yeah. submitted a, you submitted a requisition asking for a special meeting. Yes, yeah, signed by 15 members okay. um, of the past 2017 and 2018 okay. um, regi registered members mm -hmm. and um, I email all managers I believe well not if, if I didn't get all I would say at least 90 percent or 95 percent of mm -hmm. the managers asking them to support support yes right um, I've gotten verbal support from the major teams mm -hmm. like I said however the individuals um, they are a bit afraid to be victimized mm -hmm. by whatsoever support they show and so you've gotten no reply to the requisition that you've made for the special meeting not as yet um, by by right he is mandated to give us an answer within seven days and uh, the seven days has not been passed as yet mm -hmm. so we're patiently waiting to see what will be your next move or legal tactic, I should say. The seven-day period will be up on Friday, which yep. is perfect because election is the following day. So, mm. I mean, it's basically nothing apart from literally seeking court action mm. and getting an injunction to stop this election. election. There is nothing 
that can be done. But you need the support of the cyclists because exactly. if the cyclists yes. don't come out and rally for you, then. then, mm -hmm. then I mean, what, what sense would it make to go through the trouble of getting an injunction, have the election put off, and then the cyclists don't come out? Because if you talk to a cyclist right now, they will tell you, look, I don't even know if I care. I just want to ride my I bike. Just want to ride bike. But yes. how can you ride your bike and how can you. Like, I don't know if our main focus is just to, to ride the cross country, but there are a lot of things beyond our borders for mm. cyclists that can be accomplished. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that's one of the things that we continue to mention, that if you're not exposed, then how do you manage? Exactly. You know, and I think that's, that's where we see the lacking here, because to hear from your cyclist that, you know what, it no matter to me, I just want to ride bike. Mm -hmm. It just simply means that change is not something that they're looking for. So how do we get these folks? You've got over 300 people registered. How do you get these people to want to be a part of this thing? It's hard to even say, have a, have a big meeting with everyone because we have not been in the practice of having general meetings. So mm -hmm. voicing our opinion at, at things like these is, is not, I mean, it, it may be an option to do that, but um, I mean, you would be looking at, you know, bringing a bus from each one of the districts to, mm -hmm. to come to Belize City to have a meeting like that because, you know, it's, it's, it's just a, it's an uphill battle like Alexa mentioned in the beginning. If on Saturday there's an endorsement of the current federation, how prepared are you to bury the hatchet and work with them to continue to build cycling in Belize? Well, that's what that's our main focus to have better men in the, um, yeah. sport. in the sport, yeah. right? That's the main focus. Um, so with or without being um, elected, we are willing to help still. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, but we're just saying that um, why why would the members agree to the same terms if we're seeing the results, the evidence mm -hmm. from the past four years? It's zero communication whatsoever to raise any issue mm -hmm. with these guys. So we're just telling them, you know, would you guys just want to have this same thing continue on, or would you want to see a change and 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 for for the betterment of the cyclists mm -hmm. right that's you guys if you guys want a change and you guys should stand up and say something right um you know you always hear the um the the cyclists or even the fans say things in regards to we're not um when the, when the foreigners come in and beat us on on cross country day how can we even get better if we don't get outside exposure, yeah. mm -hmm. right? How can we say that, all right, we are, we are live, um, raising the, the, the level of our competi um, competition if we're not competing against the foreigners as well, Yeah. right? So who are you appealing, at, appealing to at this point in time? Mm. If you were to say, if, if the Federation watches this later, they're watching right now, probably not happy about what you're saying, what would you say mm. to them? Um, if you guys are confident, just give us a fair shot at this election. Open up the the voting the, the voting poll so we can be so you can have a fair trial. And if you guys are doing and and like you said that if you're doing great at what or you believe that you're doing great, then you will have no problems with the voting. Mm -hmm. yeah. It should be confident. It should be confident. Yeah. And to your fellow cyclists. You guys need to speak up, you know. Um, me and Kaya have been putting our necks out for the entire the members of yeah. this um, this current, you know. And um, nobody seems to want to jump on board or, or say, you know what. They jump on board, but... but, but Behind the scenes, behind the scenes. Exactly. Correct. Yeah. Don't be afraid of victimization. If we all do it together, who are they going to point the finger at? You know, and I, you, you know what's funny to me is that how do you get victimized being a cyclist if you love a sport, if you love the sport? <laughs> you know, uh, you know, coming out of the whole football thing, how do you get victimized by that? And that's, you know, it, it's puzzling to me. If you have a, a voice, you've got a voice, so you need to speak up. What's the, you know, and I, I just have to ask this question. You know, it's been swirling around in my mind. What's the sweets of being a part of the, um, the, 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 the Federation, the Cycling Federation of Belize? You have to ask them. You have to ask them because apparently they want to keep it. There so must, they be must be something be some there, you know. Who's, who's on the current Federation at this point in time? Three members I can think of the top of my head. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 
Um, Who's our president? We, we the president is the vice Dion, president. Dion Nestle. The vice president is Mr. Erson Butler, and I believe the treasurer is Mr. Perry Gibson. Okay. And that is the slate you're assuming will run again on Saturday? Assuming, yes. Assume, we can only assume. Well, you've, you've brought the plight to us, obviously, to use the, the vehicle and, and reach out to the public. It, yeah. It's very interesting, by the way, you have related. It, it seems like there is a lack of communication. We've consistently said on the show, obviously, our interest is, is being able to, to see any sport progress. So, you know, uh, the best team, hopefully the best team will be eligible and be voted in on Saturday. And best of luck. Anything yes. else you'd like to close off with? It, it must be noted that it's not a, it's not a personal attack mm -hmm. on any member of the current mm -hmm. federation. There yeah. is nothing personal here. The, the whole gripe is the manner in which the federation is being run. Mm -hmm. And we as cyclists being exposed internationally want to see better done in our country and want to see development take place for our women and youth especially because there is a lot of potential here in Belize, but what we're basically doing is stifling it, yeah. the current way the Federation is being run. All right, well, thank you for coming in and sharing uh, your experience. Yeah, thank you too, guys. We're gonna go ahead and take a final break, and when we come back, we'll have our wrap-up, so stay tuned.